Hi guys, Cargrash here, and today I'm bringing you a game called uh, Voodoo Garden. I know it's been more than a little while since the last time I posted something, and I know I said I was going to try and uh, get back into posting more. You can see how well that's happened. Um, I have, this is going to be more of an update video because this is more of an idle game for anyone that can kind of see what's going on. Uh, but a uh, brief introduction to the game. It's a clicker game where you gather uh, different items for your potions and every f like half second or so your little guy up in the cabin here will make a potion based on what ingredients are available. You can see all the ingredients down here. Um, higher end potions will get you more money and will get you more progress towards your next level. So while this is kind of going in the background, um, I, I wanted to kind of address the fact that I haven't posted in it's like a week, maybe two weeks, closing in on two weeks, and I just wanted to say that things have just been kind of a little off. They aren't crazy, work hasn't been crazy, life hasn't been too crazy, it's just been a complete kind of lack of motivation as of late, and I honestly couldn't tell you why. But I am, I am hoping to sort this out. I'm swapping up my diet a little bit, swapping up my sleep schedule, see what might uh, help most. So I am hoping, once again, I'm going to say it, that I can get back to kind of posting a bit more regularly, at least more than at least once a week, if not more. I am thankful that the few of you that have stayed, have stayed. Uh, and I'm hoping I can not disappoint and keep up the content. I do hope that everybody has been having a pretty good year so far. I know it's still not the greatest with the whole COVID thing going on and all that, but I'm still hoping that uh, some people are having a good time out there. And yes, I am slightly rambling because I don't know what to talk about, but... I think most of you know that I do that by right now. And if you didn't know it, uh, now you do. Um, so, rambly explanations aside, if you kind of like what's going on on screen and think it looks interesting, uh, the game's pretty cheap. Uh, I got it on sale for like a dollar fifty. But I believe it was only like two or three dollars to begin with, so. So if you like the aesthetic and you like the music and whatnot, have at it. Uh, you can kind of see I have a few spirits here. I guess maybe I should explain that a little bit. Um, to get the helper spirits, you have to purchase an animal. You then feed the animal one of your various items. It'll last for something specific. Um, and then once they are happy, uh, you sacrifice them and you get a little spirit helper. Each helper does something different. Like the pigs make the roots grow, the bunnies make the leaves grow, and the birds make the flowers grow. The, di 
different totems do different things, like uh, this one increases how often dragonflies and frogs pass by, and all these are for getting more bees to show up, because a lot of the early uh, recipes require a lot of honey, which is nigh impossible to keep. Oh, no, need that. As you can see, um, the bats swoop in now and again and steal stuff from you. I try to anyway. So, yep, yeah, that's kind of all I got for today. Uh, I hope everybody has a lovely day today, and next couple of days, the rest of the week. Have a good month, actually. Just a whole month, good month. And I'll see you guys in another video, hopefully. Hopefully when I get some motivation back. Uh, goodbye.